Hi, Nathan here from the photography team. In this video, which I will try and make quick, I just want to show you, those of you that use Capture One. Um, I'm using Capture One 12, but I just want to show you how you can, how you can customize uh, your workspace. Uh, before we start, I just want to send out my condolences to um, to Matt's family. Um, Matt is a YouTuber. Um, he used to run the Art of the Image channel. Um, I recently heard that he's passed away, so um, I'm just sending my condolences out um, and thoughts to his family at this uh, difficult time. So let's jump back into this. Um, so this, like I said before, this is the default uh, view that you'll get when you open your Capture One. Now, I've come from Lightroom, um, and in Lightroom my tools used to be on the right-hand side, so that's the first thing that I'll change. So if we go to um, View, we can go to Customize Toolbar, and we can, sorry, Customize Tools, here we go, and we can place right. So this will place tools on the right-hand side, and it's put the images on the left. Um, now you can, if you want, again, you can have these images to show um, below, but um, for this purposes I'll have them here. But just to show you that, so we can go view. This is obviously the, um, the viewer. So let's have a look. Oh, sorry, this is the browser. So we can place below if we want, so we can have the browser below. Um, again, I'm just going to have those to the left, so place left. Okay, this is a picture of my daughter. This was her prom earlier this year. Um, okay, so now on the right-hand side, we have our tools. And as you know, we have different categories that obviously offer us different functions um, for editing and exporting images. Now, if you try and grab one of these, you'll think maybe I can drag it to rearrange it. Well, you can't. Um, but how you do that is if you press the command key, this is on a Mac, then you can drag these in any order that you want. So if you want to rearrange these so that the, the ones that you use the most are in order, then you can do that. Okay, now if you want to create your own um, menu item, then on this toolbar here, if we right click, and we can um, add tool tab. Now if we add the quick tab, this will give us a cue here. Now using the command, we can drag that to the far left. So that's the first one in the list. And obviously with this one, what we can do is let's just miniaturize all these to start with. Now we can customize this how we want. So process summary, I don't want that. So if I um, click on here, I can remove tool. So we'll remove that one. Don't out range, we'll keep that one. Base characteristics, let's remove that one, so we can um, remove that tool. We don't want presets here, so let's remove that tool. Um, so there's three basic tools, and if you want to add one, we go to the top. So, so what we'll do is we will um, right click on the queue, and we can add tool, and then this will give us the list of things that we can add. So let's say we want to add um, the tone curve. Let's find tone curve. Or curve it's called, there we go. So there's the tone curve. We can add other ones. So let's right click on that, add tool. Let's add the color editor. So basically you can create your own tool here with the features that you use the most. Um, again, with the with the standard toolbars, so this one here, you can actually edit these. So, from this tab, if we want to, we can remove the layer tool. We can add tools within these certain categories. But just creating a queue menu is a great way of having all of those features that you use most of the time in one uh, group to save you having to switch between different um, categories. Now, one important thing is that when you have created your 
personalised toolbar, you need to save that. If not, when you come out of um, Capture One and log back in, they're going to be lost. So what we'll do is we'll go to Window, down to Workspace, and then we can save that workspace. Okay, so just make sure you do that. Um, and then when you open uh, uh, Capture One, you know, if your workspace isn't there, then you can go to Workspace and you can see I've got a dual screen version here where I have um, my uh, browser on one image, I'm sorry, on one screen and um, obviously the main uh, editor on another one. So they will be your saved workspaces. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's just a quick overview of how you can customise your uh, workspace on Capture One. Don't forget we do op offer a discount or Capture One will offer a discount if you use our Capture One discount code of TPT uh, and there is a link in the description below which takes you straight to the Capture One website. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. My name's Nathan and you've been watching The Photography Team.